Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Kashmir Food Fusion. Click on the subscribe button here to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon button to remain updated. Today we are going to make Kashmiri Mirchi Korma or Lamb in red chilli sauce for you. This is a very famous dish from the Kashmiri Vazwan and it has many health benefits. You should try this recipe. The ingredients used here are 3 tablespoons of fennel seed powder, 2 tablespoons of turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of zeera. Then we've used ground spices like cinnamon stick, few green cardamoms and few black cardamoms. We've also used a cup of ghee. This mirchi korma is mostly cooked in ghee, so we use a large cup of ghee. I use here dried red chilli powder. Usually we use dried red chillies. And then we use a kg of mutton. Let's start. First of all, we will place this mutton in a vessel and we will pour some water over it. So you can see that I am pouring some water over it and now I will add ginger garlic paste, 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste to it. So after adding ginger garlic paste to it, I will place it on a burner and wait for the mutton and the water to boil. You can see that it's, it is boiling now and now I am removing the scum from it. So as it is boiling more scum is coming on the top and we are removing it. You can reuse this uh, uh, water or you can throw it away like I have. So now after removing most of the scum I am washing this meat with cold water. Now in the pan Add some oil and add the onions into it and along with zeera and fry them. You should fry the onions until they are golden brown in color. So when the onions start to become brown, I'm adding the ghee into it. This mirchi korma is cooked in ghee and we have to add a lot of it. So, you should not worry about the amount of oil and ghee in this. And here you can see that I am stirring this occasionally. When the onions are dark brown in color, we will add the mutton pieces into it. Now we will fry them together. We have to keep on frying them until the mutton pieces reduce in size. Here you can see that I am mixing it. So when the mutton pieces are also fried, we will add the red chilli paste into it. You should not add the red chilies directly. We have to make a paste out of them first and then add them into this. Usually, like I said, we use dried red chilies here and make a paste out of them. But here I am using the red chili powder and make, I made a paste. I have added water to them and now I have added the paste into this mixture. And now I am frying the red chili paste along with onions and mutton. This red chili paste is the main ingredient in this mirchi korma and it gives the flavor to this korma so we have to fry this red chili paste along with mutton and onions we have to keep on frying them together until the oil leaves the sides of the pan along with this mirchi or red chili and now at this stage i've added the ground spices three to four green cardamom and two to three black cardamom now we have to mix them well and make sure that the ingredients don't stick to the pan. You can add the salt uh, in the beginning but I am adding it here. So after adding the salt, I am mixing it again. Here you can see that 
the oil has left sides of the pan and our mutton has reduced so I have added the fennel seed powder and the turmeric powder and I am giving it a good mix again now I am adding water over it at this stage you can transfer the contents into a pressure cooker and wait for 3 to 4 whistles but cooking it like this makes it a bit tastier so I am covering I will add a water and now I will cover the lid of the pan and wait for it to boil and reduce in size so here you can see that added water and now I'm covering the lid and I will wait for the meat to become soft. Now I've served it out in a bowl. It tastes really good and nice and it has good health benefits. It's good for stomach. You should try this recipe. Thank you for watching our channel.